Today is a travel day. I'm just about to take a taxi to Heathrow. I'm traveling to Africa for a few weeks for a film job. But first, I want to make a quick video breaking down the work of legendary street photographer Matt Stewart and seeing what inspiration and learnings we can take by studying his work. What, we're missing something? Oh, intro. <laughs> Most of you will recognize Matt's picture of this striding pigeon seemingly walking with a bunch of figures. This picture is often seen as the iconic street photography image, not only because it's been plastered on every street photography book out there, but it's funny, it's witty, and it captures everyday real life. What I love about Stuart's street photography is that it captures a lovely sense of humor you can see this in Matt's picture of a New York policeman with a shadow moustache. I love this shot because it's such a clever observation, but it also shows about being in the right place at the right time and looking out for the interesting and unusual. For those up and coming street photographers, Stuart's got a great quote that I fished out online. Buy a good pair of comfortable shoes, have a camera around your neck at all times, Keep your elbows in, be patient, optimistic, and don't forget to smile. I think that's great advice. It's all about hitting the road, going out there, walking, having a camera with you, and seeing what you discover. I want to give you five learnings from Stuart's amazing street photography. Number one, keep your camera set up small. Disappearing into the background is Stuart's way of allowing these colorful and funny scenes to unfold in front of him without people knowing that he's there. Take 100 pictures every single day. A lot of Stuart's work on the streets, as you can see, is very unpredictable and spur of the moment. He must take over 100 pictures a day, which increases the chances of him capturing that one perfect shot. Number three, comedy. He portrays a reality filled with touches of humour, irony, and dry British mischief. With Matt Stewart's photography in mind, I just want to share with you some of my favourite pictures I've taken in the last couple of months. Mm. 